All right, so another thing that can be really, really helpful in Excel is to be able to read the column and the row. Now I'm putting these here together because they're very related. You're gonna see column and row stuff happening a lot together. Generally, if you need one, you're probably gonna use the other as well. So the first thing we wanna do here is read our column. I'm starting with column because it is alphabetical order, but don't worry, that will have no impact. They're basically the same um, properties. So I'm gonna say column is and, and then we're gonna take our cell again, and we're just gonna type in column. Let's take a look at what this looks like. We hit run, column one, awesome. We knew it was gonna be column one because we are in A, the column, column A. So now if we take our row, so read row, as I said, I'm just gonna copy this down because it's pretty simple. We're just gonna replace row there with row, and let's try that. There we go, column one, row one. Awesome, if we change this to like, let's say C2, and then we rerun it, we get column three. So let's double check that. One, two, three, yep, column three. And then we get row two, one, two. Awesome, that is how you read your column and row addresses as numbers out of Excel VBA.